solution number two is to get rid of the empty calorie carbs. Now, there's good news and bad news. The good news is there's really only three empty calorie carbs, but the bad news is two of those empty calorie carbs are found in numerous processed packaged foods. The three empty calorie carbs that I'm talking about are refined flour, sugar, and white rice. Now, white rice is not really a staple, at least not here in the United States, but sugar and refined flour are found, as I said earlier, in tons of different packaged foods. So you really, again, you have to read the ingredients. You want to make sure that you are choosing carbohydrates in their most natural, unrefined state that are also nutrient dense. Now sugar is found naturally, but sugar is not nutrient dense. The foods that are nutrient dense that are found in nature, the plant-based foods, are all fruits. You can also do dried fruits, frozen fruits, um, all vegetables, whole grains, so like oatmeal and uh, barley and quinoa and millet, even uh, whole grain breads. Sprouted whole grain breads are even better. If you do buy bread, you want to make sure that the flour, when you read the ingredients, that it says whole in front of it. If it doesn't say the word whole in front of it, then it's not a healthy whole grain carbohydrate. Uh, other healthy carbs that are nutrient dense include um, beans and legumes and potatoes and corn and, and sweet potatoes. So you have a wide variety of healthy nutrient dense carbohydrates to choose from. And I'm not at all an advocate of low carb diets. In fact, I would say the vast majority of my calories in my diet actually do come from carbohydrates, but they come from nutrient dense carbs. So. The bottom line is you want to get rid of those three empty calorie carbs or dramatically reduce your intake, and you want to switch over and make a conscious effort to eat nutrient-dense carbohydrates that are in their natural whole form.